man, listen, what's going on, y'all? Lockout man here in the building, in the truck, right here, over here at Walmart. Just got finished eating my breakfast, getting ready to go, coming off of a spectacular Labor Day four-day weekend. I hope you guys' weekend was as spectacular as mine. But it's time to get back to the grind. Four days of just chilling with the peoples and all like that. Eating good, watching TV good, being with the family good. I hope you guys like this and like that and like this and uh, it's like that and like this and like this. Have all of that, you know what I'm saying? But now it is time to get back at it. Get back in the truck for this short but productive week. Am I going to hit 3,000? <laughs> nah, I ain't going to hit 3,000. I can tell you that right now because I got a dentist appointment uh, on Thursday, which <laughs> is going to interfere with all of that. But check it out, though. Today's, today's, today's topic is about truck driver safety. This young lady, this new Jack in the Facebook group, comes in and asks the question. She wants to know some tips and some advice from us from you about truck driver safety out here especially for women so with that said let me go ahead and go back in here grab something to drink and i hope you guys hook me up with some coffee it doesn't matter coffee coffee's good i'm just saying uh go in here grab something to drink and then we're gonna head back to the truck and we're gonna and we're gonna get into it. You know, I made a, I made some bullet points that I think and other drivers think that this young lady could use. Let's see what's up. Yo, what's going on guys? Lockout Man here in the truck. Back at it again with another topic of the day. And this topic right here, man, is comes from a Facebook poster. Her name is Michelle. And she comes to the post with a question. Or maybe some advice. She's looking for some advice out here for her safety. You know, she's a new jack that's about to get into the game and she want to know about truck safety. Her question is, I have a question. I am interested in getting my CDL. What are some safety measures you can suggest for a female truck? Now that is a very good question. You know the first tip I got for you? And this is for everybody, not just for the women. For everybody, everybody, not just for the truckers, everybody. When you go to the restroom, any restroom, any public restroom, I highly suggest you bring yourself some sanitizer, okay? Sanitizer, don't leave home without it. Not only good for your hands, but you can go ahead and sanitize the whole area because some of these people that use these public restrooms are some messy mother you know what i'm saying messy 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 man that's my first tip for you especially for a female trucker that's coming out into this game man you know there's a lot of there's a lot of mishaps miscues misunderstandings about safety precautions for female truckers when they come out into this game so what i did i went and round up a lot of suggestions from a lot of people that commented on her post and i thought i would make a video that would come out and give you know give you guys female truckers that's coming into the game the same advice for you guys so like i said i got i got bullet points for you ladies and men mostly ladies though but i got bullet points for you all right so you want to know about safety here in the you know in the truck in the rest areas in the truck stops i don't know 
I guess if you follow this advice and these tips, I think you'll be good. You'll be good. Let's uh, let's jump into them right quick. You know, before I head up out of here. So what I did, bam, went to the notebook and took some bullet points. The good advice out here that comes from a lot of these truck drivers is seatbelt around the doors at night. You know what I'm saying? When you get ready to go into your bunk and shut it down for the night and you're pretty much in for the night, yo, slap that seatbelt around the door. You wanna know about trust safety out here, ladies, gentlemen. Well, here it is, the first advice that I can, that I found that I could probably give you by way of somebody else is, you know the, at night when y'all pull up in the truck stop, probably might be about 11 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever the case, and you want to feel a little bit more secure inside the truck, you would take this seat belt right here. And if you have a door, well unfortunately I don't have that type of door as y'all can see. I don't, you know, you can't wrap it around the door because I don't have it. But I do have this right here at the bottom, right here, I do have this, you know. But what y'all do is y'all take the belt and y'all wrap it around the door. Wrap it around the door securely and lock it, you know what I'm saying? When you do that, it adds a little bit more security so when somebody come and pull on the door and open it, it's a little bit more harder for them to actually open the door. When you add that extra insurance that's guaranteed, like if somebody come and try to get into your truck or something like that with a Jimmy Ray key or anything like that, they still can't get into your truck because you got it a little bit more secure. Fortunately for some of these trucks, i.e. internationals, uh, Freightliners, uh, and think KWs as well, they, <laughs> unfortunately, other truck keys could probably unlock your door. I'm just saying, ladies, gentlemen, uh, some keys are able to unlock these doors. So for added security, yeah, you might want to use the seatbelt method. Wrap it around, tighten it up, lock it in. Another suggestion out here would be to get a dog. You know what I'm saying? Get a companion, you know? Get a, a German Shepherd. Well, it don't have to be that big of a dog, but you know, get a get a companion that'll be up in the front seat that's chilling. Now the truck next to me, right there, that USA truck, has a friend. That's my other tip. That's the other tip, the other advice. Ladies, gentlemen, get yourself a companion. Get yourself a furry companion. Get yourself a dog. You feel me? So if somebody comes to the truck and they just happen to look inside the window of your truck to see if they can get in there, they'll see your fur friend right there protecting you at all times. Another suggestion would be get a small weapon. Now, not a deadly weapon because a lot of these companies out here don't allow you to carry on your truck. Now, if you're an owner operator, then that probably might be a different thing. But, you know, if you're a company driver, a lot of companies out here do not allow you to have your own personal firearm on the truck. But... Turn it up! Slow songs, they for skinny hoes. Can't move all of this here to one of those. I'm a thick bitch, I need tempo. tempo. Fuck it up to the tempo. Small weapon, right? Small weapon, a pocket knife, mace, baseball bat, little baton, maybe a taser. Um, those type of weapons right there. You know, bare knuckles 
or what is they called? Not bare knuckles, but brass knuckles. You know, you can knock somebody out with a pair of brass knuckles. A pair of nunchucks, you know what I'm saying? I mean, other than other alternatives other than a gun will come in handy for your personal protection out here, ladies and gentlemen. How about a fire extinguisher? How about that? Go ahead and get an extra. You know what I'm saying? Right there. You know, we have to have one for the truck. I say get one for yourself too. Keep it in the back, in the, in the bunk, just in case, you know, somebody get in there. You can hit them hard with the, with the fire extinguisher. And, uh, and with that, you can, uh, you can protect yourself with that. Another suggestion when you're coming into this game is when you start your training. Now, preferably, ladies, you will want a female trainer to train you how to drive these big reds out here. Unfortunately for some companies, there are not that many female trainers. Uh, and unfortunately, there's more male trainers than the female trainers. If you come into the game brand new, you're gonna to have to go out with a trainer. Now for the ladies, preferably another woman that has the experience. Now, I know there's some women that can't get along with women. I get that, I get that. Just like there's men that can't get along with men. But if you ladies get a man trainer, make sure he's about training and not about the bullshit. Make sure that dude is all about training you and not about the bullshit, you see what I'm saying? See, these guys out here, they, they be on some other shit, you know, when they, when they wanna train you. You know, you got guys out here that's trying to look for a female companion or whatever, whatever, and you're not out here for that. You know, you got a lot of man trainers out there that's be about bullshit. And they be about, oh, well, I'm trying to hit this and hit that. You don't want that. You want him to train you on how the company works. You already know how to drive, right? At least I hope you do. Now, you just want him to help you understand the company. Not trying to get in my pants while I'm learning to right? I mean, learning to drive. And that's what that trainer needs to do he needs to teach you the ways of the truck be about the training and not about the bullshit another suggestion is learn how to carry yourself you know what i'm saying you're a professional truck driver now ladies don't don't come out in this game you know you know coming out in this game wearing two tops booty shorts uh you know you know all sorts of stuff you know what i'm saying Carry yourself as the professional truck driver that you are. So, ladies, another thing, another thing, all right? Another tip, another advice, all right? Learn how to carry yourself if you don't know how to carry yourself. And what I mean by that, when you're in the truck stops, when you're in the shippers and receivers, when you're, when you're out and about representing the company that you're driving for, carry yourself as a professional you feel me don't go out there with the booty booty shorts don't go out there with the two tops that's showing your breasts don't go out there with with your goodies hanging out go out there like the professional that you are when you carry yourself out there to let these guys know these other truckers know that you're about your business you ain't about nothing else yeah, I'll talk to you, shoot game to you and all like that, but when it comes to when it comes to coming out here taking care of the business, carry yourself to that point so that they'll know that you are about the business and not about nothing else. Another suggestion is the attitude that you project. You see what I'm saying? The attitude you project will deter a lot of issues from you. 
You project that type of attitude out there as the professional truck driver that you are. Just like I said in the last advice about carrying yourself, you project that as the protect as the professional truck driver you will not run into no issues at all because you're 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 that professional that's doing the damn thing out here and you letting these guys know that you are the professional truck driver so don't mess with me you feel me you project that type of professional attitude all trouble around you will not come to you it will be deterred another suggestion is Watch for other truck drivers and your surroundings. Now, there's a lot of issues going on with some of these truck drivers, man. You just don't understand or or know what be going through their mind sometimes. You know, maybe they maybe they're on some on some other stuff dealing with some home issues or on some other stuff dealing with some uh dealing with something you see what i'm saying so be wary of certain truck drivers around you also while you're doing that be wary of your surroundings as well at the shippers receivers and truck stops make sure you watch everything around you that's going on around you like the old saying goes you gotta have eyes in the back of your head you know what I'm saying? If you see something that's not that's that's not good or anything like that, be sure you pay attention to whatever you do. Pay attention to every inch of the surroundings where you at. Another suggestion is always take proper precautions while you out here in while you out here in this industry right now. You know, precautions of where you park at precautions where you where your surroundings is at it all backs up to the previous uh advices that i'm saying and as you notice they all work in tandem always take proper precautions when you get out of the truck make sure that it's lit when you get out of the truck make sure there's nobody around around your size trying to creep up on you when you're out of the truck, make sure that the area you're at is, is secure enough so you can get out and do and do the damn thing you need to do. You know what I'm saying? So when you take precautions, you taking you taking that issue to make sure that yourself is safe. You get the prod out there safe to make sure that the truck is safe and everything will be all right. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you take those precautions out there. Another advice is always be alert and always be aware. You see how that you see how all that rolls into one? Always be alert, always be aware of whatever you do. Be alert. Be aware. Be alert. Be aware. If possible, here's another advice for you. Always park in a well-lit area. Now that's not going to always be the case because truck parking is a huge issue out here in this industry. You know, when you try to, when I know you're tired and you pull up in these truck stops and these truck stops is full and you won't be able to park there and you have to go down the street and park in a gravel lot that's not, that don't look all that safe, that don't look all that well lit but you have to park there because of per DOT purposes, which is now is not a case though. So let me, let me rephrase that. Now per DOT purposes before, you can only shut down when your clock runs out, you're done. You can't move no more. Now you can use personal conveyance to find you a safe, adequate parking space for you maybe it's maybe it might not be that well lit but it probably might be a little bit safer than that gravel lot that i mentioned earlier so but if it is real lit definitely hop into that one and shut down for the night so you want to know about safety for you women out there especially you guys coming out into this game right here ladies and gentlemen always always be about your business out here don't be about the bullshit you know what i'm saying you're about your business you're sacrificing your life 
out here to help others, to bring others the commodities that they need. You're sacrificing being away from your family. You're sacrificing being away from your free time just to come out here to make sure somebody else is happy. So while you're out here, be about your business. You're not about the, like I said before, I say it again, you're not about the bullshit. You're about your business. That's, that's what you're coming out here for. If you come out here and the dispatcher gives you some, give you a hard time, be about your business and be like, yo, man, I'm not out here to play. I'm out here to make my money. I'm not out here to get a Burger King check. You know what I'm saying? You know, hook me up with the mouths that I need to take care of my family and myself. Be about your business while you're out here. Contact your friends and family if you can. Once a day, twice a day, three times a day. Let your family and friends know where you at at all times. Like, yo, if you're if you're in Massachusetts, let them know you're up in Massachusetts. Let them know you're at the you're at the pilot at such and such. So in case you don't call them or they can't call you, they at least know the last place where you was at. When you find out that when they could get a hold of you, maybe you overslept, maybe you went on an Uber, whatever the case may be, let somebody know the last place you was at so that they can keep tabs on you. A big, big suggestion that I will give you is make sure you contact somebody, either your family member or your friends. Let them know where you at. Now look, out of all the suggestions and the advice that I give you, this can be a very satisfying career if you let it. I mean, if this is something that you really want to do, you want to get your CDLs, come on out here and join us. And it could be a career that, you know, that could span years for you. You know, you gotta have the mentality, you gotta have the mentality, you gotta have the drive, you gotta have the, the stomach for it. So when you come out here, and you start doing the damn thing, you will be satisfied. Ladies, gentlemen, Facebook poster, I hope that these advice is good for you. I hope you take them and use them and spread it to other people that may be coming into this game and let them know about, you know, safety precautions out here for yourself and for uh, for your truck when you come out here. So I hope, I hope it all works. If you like these videos and more, man, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment, and get your boy some coffee, man. I'm thirsty up in this piece. Hook your boy up with some coffee. The coffee links is right there in the video. Call five, PayPal. Hook me up. Yo, I will come back at you guys with another video. Enjoy your day and have a blessed one. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.